Hey all, today's video is going to be on the new Flow Builder and uh, currently I am signed up for the Spring 19 pre-release um, developer edition um, Salesforce and so I wanted to just make this video to show you guys how, how it looks and feel and how it is different from the currently existing Cloudflow designer. So let's get started. Um, Basically what I'm trying to do here is I already had a flow before which was used to basically clone an opportunity. So let's say I have an opportunity and staying on this page I need a button which will not only clone um, but when you click on clone it will bring me certain fields and I can fill those fields in and save it and it will automatically extract rest of the fields from this current, currently existing opportunity. So basically I'm creating a new opportunity but with pretty much the same fields and some new fields that I would uh, want to add on that new screen. The clone could work also but I just wanted to use flow to do that. So let's see how that can be done in flow. So as you can see here we have logic, screen, data and actions. So our first step will be to get that opportunity record values. So we'll, we'll use get records. So just like in flow designer we had fast record and get record. So in the new flow designer we don't need to differentiate right away. We'll differentiate in, uh, in the same screen here. So I'm going to say get opportunity record and you can add the description here and what object I'm going to look on get records for this object and as you can see I really like that we can now see the label and the API names I love this because sometimes your labels might be different from the API names um, and here so you can either get all the opportunity records or add conditions so what we're going to do is we're going to add conditions and same it's very same as old flows and those who are new to flow can also be benefited from this video um, so all right so I'm gonna query on ID I'm gonna say ID equals and we can create a resource right here so my resource is going to be of type it's going to be a variable and what I'm gonna say is record ID because now record ID is a special case especially if you're trying to use this flow within a lightning quick action all you need to do is verify this specify this record ID and that screen will automatically send that record ID from that page so basically if you put that action on this page this ID will automatically be sent to that flow that's just how flow and lightning quick actions are uh, built so we just define a record ID here and then you can say available for input and output and here, this is important, where you can define, before you had to select a subject variable, but now you can actually define the data type here. So the text, the record, number, currency. I'm going to say text here because it's just an ID field. Um, and we don't, so let's say if you have a collection variable, which we probably will do in future videos, but if you have a collection, we'll say uh, add multiple values, which is a collection and hit done so id equals we can just populate that value here and here is where that fast fast get fast or just the get record it makes difference because let's say if you're expecting a lot of records from that condition you can click all records and then save those values in a collection but since we are saying get get me the opportunity with this id obviously you will only get one record so that's why I'm just gonna say only the first record and here where do you want to store that value so basically you are getting the opportunity now this time we are going to store that opportunity value in a var op type of variable and what I'm gonna say is I want a record type because we need what we're doing is we're selecting ID getting that opportunity first and then we we need to pull some certain fields from that opportunity record so if I type opportunity here 
input and output that's my um, variable of opportunity so basically it's, it's nothing but s object type equal to opportunity and this is just a variable opportunity um, if you know a little bit of SQL, it will make sense if you try to translate this whole um, thing into a SQL query. So this is basically our where clause. And we want to store what are the variables we need. First record variable is this and then what are the values. This is where you will find the fields. So I want the account ID because I want to keep that account ID the same from that current opportunity and then maybe I want a stage as well actually let's do amount I'm gonna keep the same amount uh, same name I wanna I wanna have the same name for that new opportunity so name any any field you want to bring from that opportunity record which we just queried so what we're doing here is select select all these fields select account ID amount name ID from opportunity where ID equals that record ID that will be passing from that lightning page so that's just a SQL query translation for this whole thing and then we are storing it obviously on this object because uh, you obviously need to store it somewhere uh, to be able to refer it later so click done so that's our get op record now next one um, next when they click on that clone it gets these values but we also need to show them a screen to be able to input the rest of the values right um, so I'm gonna say enter op values you can name it whatever you want and here what I want to make sure is I need them to enter this stage first so that will be a pick list and watch uh, how I can define a dynamic pick list here. So I'm going to say stage, data type, text type, and here is where you can select um, choices. So you can actually create new choice. So you can say pick list choice set, and it's going to be up stage. Always add description. I'm skipping uh, for time here, but I always make sure to add description, which will be very helpful if you or somebody else sees tries to refer to this flow later on. So we are saying opportunity object, and what's the data type? It's a pick list, and here you will see all the pick list values for opportunity pick list fields. So I need the stage name, and uh, you can sort it or not. So that's the stage name. Looks like we have an error. Let's see what that is. I think it's the name, API name. Yep, that was the API name. So since we use that field somewhere else, so upstage name. That's the choice. And so basically, this will bring dynamically bring all the stages from the opportunity. What's the next? So next, I want to also include a close date. So I'm going to pull a date field and drag and drop right here. I really like the way it looks as compared to the Cloudflow designer because it's all very intuitive. So just drag and drop here and you can put the date or rather close date and you can make it required and I'm actually going to make this required as well. Required both of these values and we are done with this screen element. So just hit done. So I got the opportunity record enter opportunity values now what's next next is I want to create that new opportunity record so I'm gonna name it create or clone opportunity because that's what we're doing and we are creating one record so again unlike the cloud cloud for designer where you had fast record uh, fast create and record create two elements and you kind of had to decide which one you want to pick ahead of time but here you actually you can it's just four so there's no more confusion and this is where you get to pick if it is a collection you are creating a one record in our case we are creating one record so create one record and how to set the record fields in some cases you might already have a record variable and you you're going to want to use all those record uh, fields from single record variable but in our case we are going to do it for separate variables right because 
we have two fields coming out of that screen input and the rest of the fields will be coming from that um, get records uh, variable so let's see how to do that so click on opportunity that's what we're going to create and this is where we want to set all the fields so let's start with name name is going to be our var op dot name because remember this is where we stored that opportunity information and then amount also from here that's amount and you don't need to worry about the syntax it's, it's all it will all populate by itself and the next one account id was also from that same uh, variable account id and here we want to set stage okay, that's a required field um, and that one was the input screen component so this is the stage that we want to use because that's what the user selects and then we have uh, close date I believe yes close date and take it from the screen components close date and it is also smart enough to only show you all the date fields because since the right the left hand side is date field so these two should be compatible to each other obviously and then I'm just gonna store this is this is optional um, in future maybe I'll do a part two video where after creating after the flow creates the records we want to land back on the newly created record newly created opportunity so to in order to do that you obviously need that newly created opportunity record ID so I'm just gonna create a new uh, variable and call it new op ID and it's just gonna be a text text type because in future I might wanna redirect the flow after completing creation uh, we're gonna redirect back to that same um, newly created opportunity so this will require a component lightning component but we're, we are not gonna do that for today um, so Basically, we're going to store that newly created opportunity ID into this variable. That's what this means. Um, click done. And now all we need to do is join them together. I just love this look and feel. You do not need to install Flash. That um, and, and also, it doesn't matter if you're in Classic and Lightning. It works for both. So save it. Clone operate up. And what do you want? It is a screen flow, so screen flow. Save it. And um, next step is to debug. Before you activate it, I like to debug it to, to make sure um, I'm not missing anything. So this is how we debug. So take the ID field, copy it because right now we are not calling it from a lightning action we are just debugging it so what we need to populate is just the record id because we won't have this new op id until it's created so that's kind of meaningless so record id and run so you see how it brought all the opportunity stages so that's pretty cool and uh, close date click there and click next and there so you see a record is ready to be created when the next screen or wait a minute is executed so meaning our flow passed and we have no error if there was an error it actually tells you that and you also can expect an error email so let me know what you guys think about this new lightning flow builder I definitely enjoyed it I kind of I'm still trying to figure out where some things are like I couldn't find how to call a lightning flow how to call like a lightning component from here because I don't see the component so that's something I'm working on and I'm still playing around but I'll be sure to post more videos once I find more use cases and uh, feel free to uh, ask me if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching.